Mets lost last night their fourth straight loss They're 12 and 12 since the All Star break and the offensive mojo they had going before the All Star break seems to have disappeared. David Peterson's been the Mets good luck charm when he pitches the Mets score score a lot of runs and he gets the wins you can see the two earned runs or fewer more importantly in his last start five innings one run against Colorado 2 2 coming and there for a call strike three fastball gets Butler looking for the first down of the night and a ground ball for McNeil to handle picks up the hop and throws out on Duhar and Peterson's retired the first two here's J.J. Blade one for three last night the ace center fielder here's the payoff pitch to Blade swing on a foul that's held by Alvarez strike three and that retires the side. Two strikeouts for Peterson as he gets the A's in order. 22 year old Joey Estes on the mound for the Athletics, pitching with a heavy heart after the passing of the brother of his fiance back home in the Palmdale area. He faces Francisco Lindor, Brandon Nimmo, and JD Martinez. Lindor in the air towards left field, and Daz Cameron getting over towards the corner makes the catch right at the wall in foul territory. Just had enough room. I mean, he was. Shoulder against the sidewall there making that catch. High fly ball on a slider to left center. It's going to stay in the park for Blade. He'll wave off Cameron and he'll make a one handed catch for the second out. So here's Martinez one night after being hit on the elbow by a hundred mile an hour fastball. And he said he has never worn elbow protection before but now he is. Line drive to left a couple steps back for Daz and the catch three up three down to begin for Joey Estes Shailene Aliers he has eight consecutive hits in his last eight at bats. Here's the 3 0 and that is outside ball four. They're not even pitching to the guy <laughs> give a chance for the record and he takes a leadoff walk. It's a double play ball right to McNeil the flip to Lindor and the rest is easy Four, six, three, double play two out and nobody on. I really like when Peterson's getting ground balls that means that that sinker and change up are both working and go off it's a two hopper to short Lindor plays the high hop and throws him out to end the inning good start for David Peterson no score in the second. Jesse Winker leads off for the Mets as Winker banks went up the middle for the Mets first hit. I love uh, the start here now for Winker. I think the initial being in the lineup has tried to do too much not getting back into his groove as Pete lofts one in the left for a base hit. Broke his back but dumps one in the left and the Mets have the first two men on the second. This is kind of how it's gone for the Mets. Hasn't Gary you know they get a nice start and you're looking to you know start in a big inning and a pop up kind of stalls it. Now you're waiting for the next guy to come up with a big hit. Well, it's gotten worse over the last few days in the Mets four game losing streak. They're four for 33 with runners in scoring position. 0 for one now tonight. And Vientos hold pulls one by Hernandez and down the left field line and that'll bring in the first run of the game. Winker is in. Alonzo will be stopped at third. It's an RBI double for Mark Vientos to give the Mets the early lead. I love it. Reverse the per curse. Put up the number and that Vientos deliver. He gets that sweeper after the fastball down the middle. Nice try by Hernandez and the pitcher. Uh, not a good reaction for a ball that's scalded uh, by the hitter. And in between innings, he ignores his young third baseman. One thing I could not stand as a player showing up uh, your infielders, everyone is trying to make the plays. Not one person in the history of the game that tried to make an error. Top of the batting order for New York as we go to the bottom of the third. Mets with a 1 0 lead. Francisco Lindor leads off against Joey Estes. And he gets another one. This one deep to right. Butler back near the wall. And it's out of here. Francisco Lindor's 100th home run as a New York Met. Yeah, he's got 17 games without a home run, but he breaks that drought and hits a milestone. His 23rd home run of the year. I thought when I saw Lindor running around first, he was saying hey to his teammates. Thought he looked for a second into the A's bullpen, gave a little. OMG. A little talk in this New York town. A couple of headlines about Austin Adams last night. He uh, he mocked the OMG celebration. He let it all hang out. I'll tell you that. He definitely had a, a chip on his shoulder. And the A's now at first and second with nobody out. And here is Shea Langoliers. And we'll see if Shea can keep it going. Eight consecutive hits, ten consecutive times reaching base safely. He flies this one out to left. Winker is there. 
Tagging it second is Andujar. He's not going to go as Winker's throw comes in to Vientos. Langlier has just missed it. He flies out to left, so it ends at eight consecutive hits, but what a run for the A's catcher. A big pitch here to Zach Geloff. Try to keep this a 2-0 Mets lead. 0-2 coming. And Geloff goes down swinging on the fastball at Peterson strands two in scoring position. Home half of the fourth inning. Pete Alonso leading off for the Mets, who have a 2-0 advantage over Oakland. And Pete sends a high smash in the air to left. Cameron going back, looking up. Oh, this one way out. Gone off the facing of the second deck in left center. Second Mets home run of the night. For Pete, it's number 26. It's a solo job here in the bottom of the fourth. And it is 3-0 New York over Oakland. Tyler Nevin at first base had an easy ground ball his way. One he should have had. This would probably be an E3. And Gamble's at second base. The inning still going here for the Mets. That's lined to the left, a base hit for Alvarez. Gamble's going to be waved around third. Throw from Daz Cameron. It's in time. The tag there and out. Shay Langoliers puts it on Gamble. And a nice job with another outfield assist coming from Daz Cameron. Andujar stands in and drives one to deep right center. On the back is Nimmo off the wall and in play. Andujar on his way to second. He'll start the sixth inning with a ringing double, his 13th of the year. Here's Blade, who's one for two. And he swings and bounces it towards short. Lindor gloves, throws to third base, throws it away. It hits off of the umpire, Derek Thomas, and prevents the A's from getting a run. Should that ball have gotten through, there's a chance that ball is in the dugout, and the A's have a runner on the board. Huge break for the A's to get Andujar on third, and then the break for the Mets. Das Cameron to center field. Nimmo getting in position. He'll make the catch. Here comes the run home. A sacrifice fly for Daz Cameron. And the A's on the board, 3-1. to one. Joey Estes coming out of the game with one on, one out here in the bottom of the sixth. Joey Estes will be out of this game after five and a third. That's with a 3-1 lead. T.J. McFarland coming in. The pitch rolled on the right side, coming in for Gillop. He goes toward Alonzo, tags him, throws the first, and gets the double play as McNeil slams the helmet. And another job well done by T.J. McFarland. Peterson coming off the mound. Certainly frustrated. He wanted to stay in, but gets a hand from this city field crowd. He exits one on, one out, seventh inning. Mets three, Oakland one. Razaban is a talented right-hander. This was a, a steal. Big arm. Double play ball right at Lindor. The flip to McNeil and on to first. 6 4 3 double play. Razaban comes in, gets two big outs to keep it 3 1 New York. Because of three walks, the Mets have the bases loaded and nobody out in the seventh for Francisco Lindor. And Dor boops one into right center field. That's going to fall for a base hit. Vientos is in to score. Everybody else moves up a base. Lindor drives in his second run of the night. And the Mets lead it 4 to 1. 69 runs batted in for Francisco Lindor. And that skips away from Langoliers. Here comes Gamble. He will score standing up, and everybody else moves up. A wild pitch makes it 5 to 1, New York. And Nimmo flies one to left center field. Not all that deep. Alvarez is the runner at third. He tags. Catch made by Blade. He's coming. The throw to the plate is cut off. It's a sacrifice fly for Nimmo to bring it Alvarez with the third run of the inning. And it's 6-1 to one New York. Three runs are now in, in the inning for the Mets. So a 6-1 advantage. J.D. Martinez stands in. 29th pitch of the inning. And J.D. smacks one into right field for a base hit. That gets by Butler and goes to the wall. Lindor is in to score. Martinez pulls in at second base with an RBI double. The Mets have four runs home in the bottom of the seventh, and they now lead it 7-1. to one. Here's Pete Alonso, who can really make this inning hurt with another long ball. He's already three for three tonight. And Alonso pulls her up the bag. That's a fair ball. It's going to go down into the corner. Alonso's fourth hit of the night. Martinez is in. Bader runs around third, and he's going to score as well. It's a two-run double for Pete Alonso. He's got a four-for-four four night with three RBIs. And the Mets piling on. It's down nine to one. Ottavino got the first two, then back-to-back -back singles. And now Schumann, who has flied to center, walked and grounded into a double play. And Schumann pops one up. Who wants it? Alvarez and Alonzo and Pete makes the catch, and the ball game is over. Big night for Alonzo. Fittingly ends with the ball in his glove. Four for four for Pete. 
A double, a homer, three RBIs. The Mets put a four-game losing streak in their rearview mirror as they blow out the A's nine to one. 